This is Simple Wireless Electricity System 2 or SWES 2. It's easier to make than the original and it's got better performance. We're running here from a 1.5 volt battery. We've just got the transistor and a coil. The coil is made by wrapping around say an old pills bottle like this. Uh, this is about 23 gauge that coil. 12 turns, pull a bit out at the side, twizzle it and carry on with another 12 turns. The bit that you twizzle ends up as the positive connection to the battery and the other two leads that you're left with go to the transistor, either of the two legs, collector or base. So here we are, 24 turns on a receiver. There we are, We've got a nice little bit of range going on there. You can have different sizes of coils here we have one on a choke, just an LED sat on the top. That will also come on. Or you could have perhaps this one here, which was wound on the super glue that I kept the coil together with when I made the transmitting coil. Put that in there, and that will come on. Now, another thing is if you're not sure if your coil's right or not, if it's working or not, you can put an LED in the circuit across the collector and base and your LED will come on but also at the same time you've still got wireless output so that gives a really good check on whether your system is working another good little feature while it's such a simple system is whether your transistor is working so it makes a good transistor tester so if I just take that one out which is an MPSA18 we have another one randomly from the pile there uh, where are we? hang on a second MPSA06 Put the MPSA06 in there, and there we are, the LEDs come on. So you can use absolutely any NPN or PNP transistor. Now, wait a minute, I'll find a PNP, just one second. Here we go, I couldn't see it. It's, uh, this is an S9015. Now, kept all the connections the same, and if I plug it in, we get nothing. All you have to do is to swap the power inputs. So now negative is positive and positive is negative and there we are the LED has come on. It's not as good as the uh, the other transistor but it still works perfectly well. We can also find out which are the collector and the base on any transistor because the collector will be the positive of an LED. If I put that in there well it's not that way round. So it isn't emitter, base, collector. If I turn it around, plug it in, there we go. It's emitter, collector, base. So we can find out any small transistor, whether it's an NPN or a PNP, and which indeed the legs are. So, next part. Now back to the MPSA 18. Here we have a motor. All I've done is I've put a diode on one of the wires around the top and there we go motors running here's one of those flicker flame type candle lights put that on the top where it is, I'll turn the light off over here there we go, quite effective and while the light's off here we have the mains LED night light and there we are comes on quite nicely it's uh, kind of in the shape of Wardenclyffe, that's why I like this one. Okay, next what we'll do is we'll see exactly what it does need for power input to work. Right, using a 1.5 volt AA, the current consumption is between 20 and 40 milliamps. But, here we have, it's my finger for size, one of those tiny little solar panels from a dancing flower from uh, from Dollar Tree if you're in the USA and it's just taking the light from my uh, table lamp here and I've put a thousand UF capacitor across the power rails and as you can see there you go, a little flash wirelessly you can have the light be on all the time if say you replace with a little capacitor there of 0.15 UF and now the light is on all the time, but it is dimmer. 
Now the point is, we're getting our power just ambiently from the uh, the table light. And perhaps the other major improvement here is that it'll run from 0.6 volts to 3.6 volts. Here we are running on an old lithium ion cell phone battery. It can also run from a 3 volt coin type cell or a 1.5 volt button cell. So there we are, simple wireless electricity system 2. Thanks for watching.